Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Michelle. In this video we are going to feature the class registration matrix widget. Let's log in to your administrator's portal. By creating a matrix widget you can display your current class matrix to your members and work on next semester or next year's classes without showing it. Let's click on classes and then class matrix to create our new matrix. Here you want to click on add a matrix and give your new matrix a name. If you do not want to show your matrix go ahead and check the box under the hide column. Once finished click on the save icon. Once your matrix is created, you want to go ahead and create your new classes either by creating them as a brand new class or duplicating a class from a current or past year. You will want to disable the class forms for your new classes as you don't want to create duplicate forums for your students or instructors during the current semester. You do that by going to Settings and unchecking the box that enables secure class forms per class. Once you uncheck it, go to the bottom and update your general settings. This will not affect your classes that you're currently in, but will only affect the classes that you're creating for your new matrix. Once classes end for this year or this semester that you're in, you can go ahead and enable the class forums for the new classes. We now want to create a custom page that will include this new matrix. So let's click on Pages at the top. And then let's click on Add a Custom Page at the top here. Let's give your custom page a new name. And if you want this to be on your public site, go ahead and check this box here to allow public access. Scroll down. Make sure Widgets is the page type and details that you are going to choose and click on Add Custom Page. Now you have a blank slate to create your page design. So at the top here you're going to add a row and you'll want to add a row for each matrix that you are going to create on this page. We're only going to have one matrix so let's add a widget and then within this widget let's choose the type, which is a class matrix. Notice here that the title of this widget takes the title from the page that you've just created. You can change it or leave it the way it is. Once you choose the type of widget, click on Settings, and then use your drop-down to find the matrix that you want to display on this matrix widget page. So we're going to go ahead and display the 2324 classes matrix and hit save and close. Please note when creating a class matrix widget page you want to make sure that you only put one widget per row. If we go back to the members page and we click on where we have our class matrix you will see that we're only seeing current matrices. We are not seeing the next year's matrix because we have it hidden. When you're ready to unhide the matrix, you can tell the system where you want to place it. So let's go back to the administrator's portal. Although we're going to show it as a link or as a widget, we want to remain hiding it here in the matrix so it doesn't show up on the default class page. So let's create a link first to show you how to do that. Let's go to Appearance and then Navigation. Anytime you create a custom page, the system will orphan it until you tell the system where you want it to go. So we're going to click, drag, and drop the 2023-24 class link over to the top menu. Let's do that now. Notice how the 2324 class link is red, which means secure. Let's double click on that and show it on both the public and the secured site. Again, only do this if you want it on both sites. Then we're going to click Save. 
Anytime you make changes to the navigation, you want to make sure you hit the Save Navigation bar. Back at the Members site, let's refresh this page to take our changes. And then let's click on Co-op 23-24 Classes. So here we can see our upcoming classes. If I take you back to the home page and click on the Classes widget here, notice that you can't see that new matrix here because we continue to hide it. We only have it placed as a link now under Co-op. Now let's go over linking the new matrix widget page to a widget on the member's home page. Click on Pages, and then click on Home Page Design. You can create this widget on both the public and the private, or just the private, whichever you prefer, but make sure you're on the correct home page design that you want to work on. Currently I'm showing the public home page design, and I want to go to the private home page by clicking over here. Now I have already gone ahead and created this widget and if I take you over to the members page you'll see here that I have a next year's classes widget. So going back to the admin portal, that design is a button design here that you see and under the settings I've chosen to give the text next year's classes and this is where we're going to link in that custom page. So let's go back to custom pages here at the top. There are two ways that you can get this URL that goes directly to this new page. If you click open the widgets drop down, you'll see here the 2024 classes and next to it is a link. You can go ahead and click on that and it opens up to this page and then you can copy the URL at the top of the page here. Another way to obtain the URL is to go into the page by clicking on the title and at the top of this page you have a direct URL that you can actually copy. So let's do that. Let's go back to our home page design. I'm going to go back to my private home page and I'm going to go to this widget that I've created and I'm going to paste in the URL here. and then you want to click on the Save and Close. Back at the Members Home page, you want to refresh your page to take your changes, and then we'll click on Next Year's Classes, and here we see our new matrix. If you have further questions on our Matrix Widget page, please contact us by creating a ticket. Thank you for watching Homeschool Life's YouTube channel.